Hello, this is Mr. Doty, and I'm going to try and go over uh, linkages uh, on this video. And basically, um, what I did is I set up a four bar linkage. So here's one, two, three, well, three bars, whatever. I set up a linkage problem sim similar to the first one that you have to do. And uh, I know I have some videos on there about how to do things in SOLIDWORKS, but I'll be honest with you. Um, the light bulb came on for me, and I thought, you know what? It's really not that hard once you, you think about a few things. So let's, let's talk about linkages for a second and, and mechanisms, how this stuff works. So this is position one now i should have labeled the points and i took some time in between trying to make videos to where i should have labeled the points but i didn't and that's okay uh, basically what it is is this point here doesn't move this point here doesn't move and uh, these two guys right here they move but they can only move in a specific distance because they are stuck with the distance from here to this guy and from here to this guy. So basically when you change positions and it locks from position one to position two on this type of mechanism you have a straight line. Pretty, pretty simple. So what would my alternate position end up being? Well, if I had the straight line here, which is basically distance from here to here and from here down to here, if I move this guy around and this guy down, then what is it going to do? Well, basically what it's going to do, it's going to be what is the distance from here and here. And you add these two distances together. Now, yes, you're going to have to do some measuring, put some dimensions on it, and but it should work. So let me turn on some layers here, and let's let's just talk about this a little bit. So um, we're going to go with well, we'll turn on our uh, construction layer. So here's some circles and. You know, it, it makes it a little busy, but let's let's explain what I'm, why I'm doing what I'm doing. So basically, this guy right here can only move in this circle right here, this one that's highlighted, okay? And this point right here, it can only rotate in this circle. Well, how does that help me out? Well, you're probably going, well, what the heck is this big circle right here? Well, this big circle is actually the distance from here down to here plus the distance from the same point here up to here. So if I take these two together and add them together, then I end up with ta-da. So if the distance from here down to here is 2 and the distance from here up to here is 2.44, then the distance from here that my line, which would be straight, would be is 4.44. And you're asking, well, how, how does it end up down here? Well, this point can only rotate on this circle here. And this guy can only rotate on this circle. So what I have to do is, is look at it and go, okay, if I were to draw a straight line, which let me turn on my other layer here. So if I were to draw a straight line from here to where this circle and this circle intersect, because this guy can only rotate on this circle here, and this circle is the complete distance between 
um, well, sorry, it's this, this measurement and this measurement added together. So we do that, we get this bigger circle. So I made this bigger circle. And I'll just give you a hint. On all of these, if you use AutoCAD, you're going to use a bunch of circles to measure with. It's like using your compass to find points. So I take these two, add them together, I put them in a circle, draw them out to here. So that's where this point moves to. Okay, well, this point can only rotate on this circle. So if I rotate him around to wherever he hits the line, that's where his position's going to be. And so that's how you do it. Now, I don't know if this is confusing to you or not, but I tried to explain this to a couple of different people in class, and it seemed to help. So we're going to go with that. And so my finished product here, I'll turn my construction lines off. I'll turn my dimension lines off. And so what I would have left here would be this is position one and this is position two. This line right here is equal to from here down to here on position one. And this line right here is equal to from here to here to here, this angle these two lines, you know, basically this angle, two angled lines, the length of them put together is this line. So that's how this stuff works. If you use circles to find what is the maximum rotation or the maximum distance, you know, this distance can't change. You know, this distance can't, well, let's just say this distance can't change. And this distance can't change because they're set. These points don't move. The other two do. Well, they're hooked by the length of this and the length of this. So if you keep that in mind and you draw your circles and just keep it simple, don't get, try not to get confused. But this, this is basically how you do number one and number two. So think about it. So anyway. That's all I have for this video, and I'm hoping it recorded correctly, and we'll see what happens.